Hey guys, so I am cold, first of all, as in I am wearing pretty much a, an old Harry Potter blanket, as opposed to putting on a sweater. But, you know, that's besides the point. The reason you're all here is because I like to talk about Marvel, and hopefully you guys do too. So, I'd like to talk about one of my favorite characters, Tony Stark, uh, I, aka Iron Man, aka Idiot. Now, the funny thing is that I call Tony one of my favorite characters, ironically, considering the recent movie coming out, <laughs> I have more Captain America gear than I do Tony Stark. I even have a little Captain America pledgey that I got from one of my friends. Oh, she's weird. So, I find it myself very torn over what the hell is going to happen come Civil War. I am not looking forward to it. I mean, I am. I'm looking forward very much towards the movie, but I am not looking forward to, like, the fighting. I am not looking forward to that. I want people to be happy. Ah, <sighs> wishful thinking around here. I don't want to talk about Tony Stark as my favorite character in terms of, like, oh my god, he's so great, I want to be with him, I blah 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 blah. I don't. God, no. Good, then there will be no problems here. Possessive much? This is Tony we're talking about. Point taken. Tony Stark is a hot mess. He is arrogant, he is full of himself, he knows that he is way too smart for his own good. You're forgetting textbook narcissist. He, he doesn't have full-blown narcissistic personality disorder from what I know about him, but he, he always has to be the best. Um, he's extremely flawed. He has a tendency towards instant gratification, and that often leads to self-destructive behavior. Oh, don't get me started. And, you know, I'm pretty sure he actually has ADHD. Huh? He's easily bored. He can't focus on something unless it interests him. He has a hard time sitting still or staying silent when he really should stay silent. And he moves from one project to the next. We see that in Iron Man 3, when he's repeatedly going from one suit to the next, like, making all these different prototypes, but never really focusing on any one. Do not remind me. I'm 99% sure that Tony Stark has ADHD, and that's not a bad thing. Uh, I myself have ADHD. I just think that Tony struggles with it. And uh, despite my little roast about Tony Stark there, um, he's honestly like one of my favorite characters because of, um, because of his good qualities and his bad. He genuinely wants to make the world a better place. He takes direct actions to achieve that. And when those actions inevitably come back to bite him, he fixes them. <laughs> he at least tries to learn from his mistakes, and he definitely wants to do right by the people he cares about. She does have a point. Whose side are you on? I'm not saying that his pros outweigh his cons. I'm gonna save that for Civil War, trust me. I mean, but what I'm saying is that this is why I like his character. He's extremely flawed. He has good and bad parts of himself, and every person has that. That's why I think makes him a great character. He has good days. He has bad days. He makes a mistake. Lots of mistakes. Loads of mistakes. We get it. But that's why I like him. He's very, very human. And he screws up. He genuinely has things that are his mistakes that he has to own up to, just like any other person. And he creates problems for himself, unlike some of his teammates. So you're saying I don't? No, you don't do it as much. Your problems tend to stem from other people, and, and not yourself. Well, I've made my own messes. The decisions that you make don't come back to bite you as strongly as they do for Tony. You haven't seen the worst of it. But the thing that is, that's the point, we haven't seen... We haven't seen that. We don't get to see other characters' flaws as much. They're either informed attributes that don't strongly affect the plot, or they're flaws that only exist for one movie. Like Captain America. He is such a boy scout. Tony's strengths and weaknesses endure throughout the series. Finding a balance is a constant struggle for him. He needs to figure out how I be a better per how I can be a better person without making as many mistakes the next time. But the thing of it is, he's not perfect. He's only human. That's why he's one of my favorite characters, because he's a real person who has real struggles. That's actually kind of nice. I mean, come on, I'm, I'm not a total critic. I like the guy, even when he's an ass. You sure you're not one of his cosplayers? Yes, I would cosplay him, but no, I don't have one of those suits. I can't make them. I mean, if I could, I would. It would be absolutely incredible. I mean, can you imagine, like, PVC or all this? Okay, time to go. Lead the way. Guys, 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 guys! 